Greetings. Let's see what my big eagle can do. Oh yeah. And with big eagle I mean vulture. And I want to try two large burst lasers fixed and two gimbaled large multi cannons. Burst lasers I modded with inertial impact. That's an upgrade that increases damage and converts half of it to kinetic. Basically it deals more damage to hull. And scramble spectrum. Upgrades that allows hull strikes to potentially trigger random malfunctions on the target. But don't expect malfunctions to happen every single time, not even once in 5-10 shots. Sometimes it do malfunction like drives, but mostly nothing happens. But the biggest problem I had with my special abilities is that inertial impact added jitter to my weapon. You can see my right weapon shoots everywhere but where I aim. It might turn out to be a real problem if you shoot from a distance, from close range doesn't really matter. So if you apply any mod and you see jitter, ignore it. It will make using that weapon, especially if it's fixed weapon, quite hard. And with this loadout you can stay here indefinitely. I also switched my prismatic shield to biweave, because it makes sense to have shield that will regenerate faster. With gimbal weapons it's easier to get power plant down. And I modded both burst lasers with efficient weapon mod. Because Vulture only has class 5 power distributor and shooting two large burst lasers simultaneously requires a lot of cooling from weapon capacitor. And as you see efficient weapon actually works quite well, you can shoot for quite some time even with two pips to weapons. It's funny to watch how enemies are struggling to pitch and turn around to have my vulture in their field of view. If they have turrets then yeah, but mostly they fail. Yeah, and obviously Clipper is much more agile than Anaconda. Not even the ring of my shields down. Let's drop dropship. And explorer. Run. Yes, for some reason after AI tweaks, when they were running away every single time they lost shields, now they are not running away at all. Wow. Even when it makes perfect sense to run. 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 Well, what can I do if he doesn't want to run? So let's try again. Vulture, but this time with two multi cannons and one with corrosive rounds, other with incendiary. I know the truth is somewhere in between, maybe one burst, one multi cannon. However, with new special abilities, I don't think you need to divide anymore. You can have perfectly nice loadout with only multi cannons, especially if you have large ones. Let's see how fast enemies will die now. I'm afraid very fast. Yeah, those large multi-cannons are very effective even without any mods and special abilities. And in this case I overcharged my weapons so they deal like two times more damage now. Add here special abilities and you have something really insane. Oh yeah. 
Just die. I like how Vulture feels now, it's much more agile and you can do whatever you want. It's similar as Eagle, but much bigger and with much better shields obviously and firepower. You can't even compare to large with three small hard points. And if you keep yourself very close to your enemy, Chaff Launcher will not help him. You will still hit most of your shots or even all of them. So in this case you don't even need fixed weapons. From a distance, yeah, definitely. He has a lot of shield cells, as you see. That's only way they can stay for quite some time with shield cells. And that's also a drawback for your multi cannons. You are limited in your ammo. You can craft ammo now. There's a mod to increase your ammo clip size and total ammo size. You can use that. It's quite nice to double your clip size or ammo size or both. And if you like to synthesize ammo, then doubling your clip size will mean doubling effectiveness from your crafted materials. Bye-bye. Bombs. Target destroyed. Beautiful. Oh yeah, finally run out of ammo for one multi cannon. It doesn't really matter. I will kill it with one weapon only. Large multi cannon is quite powerful. He's already dead. Let's make a nice ending, shall we? Don't. <laughs> it was funny. Nice wreckage, I like it. Let's take a look at modules I had on my vulture. At first I had two fixed large burst lasers. Inertial impact, which was on the right side, and because of this cheat there, actually, it missed a lot. Even while it's only 3 degrees, it's crazy how it shoots everywhere but where I aim. Wow. From close range, it doesn't matter. So if you shoot from close range, you don't care, jitter, but if you are planning to shoot from 1 kilometer and further away, pay attention to your modifications, because if you get jitter, you will miss. Almost all. 
But this is nice mod. Special ability, I mean. It will deal increased damage to Hull. And from my large laser test, burst lasers already did most damage to Hull, so it's nice addition. And both burst lasers I had this efficient because... Yeah, they draw a lot of energy. As you can see, I saved a lot. 40% almost power draw, and 32 almost distributor draw. And thermal load also decreased by almost 30. Scramble Spectrum is a funny weapon. If you get shields down, there's a chance to malfunction targets modules. I asked my friend to shoot at me with this weapon, and malfunctions happen, but very rarely. You can actually add this ability to pulse disruptors and have two times better chance to cause malfunctions. So don't expect the result to be like every third or even fifth shot. You will malfunction, but very rarely. And second time I had multi cannons, two gimbal ones, which I liked much more. And one is with incendiary rounds, converts large portion to thermal. It's a very nice special ability for multi cannon. Now if you like multi cannons, you don't even need lasers anymore. And corrosive shell, which weakens hull hardness. It's pretty cool weapon. Both are overcharged. Obviously, I don't need that much. Distributor draw, even if I had increased by 50% and power draw by 5, it doesn't really matter for multi cannons. This ship can handle it. Utility amounts, obviously, shield boosters. You might want to have some heat sinks if you are fighting with somebody who used thermal shock. Heavy duty shield booster, as you can see, 65 almost percent boost, it's crazy. And core internals, I had military grade bulkhead, lightweight armor. I'm not sure why I picked this actually, because there are better choices, but probably I just wanted to increase my jump range, because Vulture doesn't have that good jump range. Well, but even this mod gives you some hull boost, so it's not that bad. Power plant, I have overcharged obviously for vultures, there's just no other option. Plus 37.6. It's a nice addition, but you can see I have enough. But before I had very silly loadout with prismatic shields, four shield boosters, and also two advanced plasma accelerators, and I had enough power for all. Trusters, I have clean drives actually on this. I probably need to get Dirty ones, class 5, and try them out on this ship to see the difference. Optimal multiplier, 113, so 13 above. And optimal mass, almost unchanged. Frameshift drive, I have obviously increased FSD range for Vulture, 24.4. Power distributor, I have weapon focused. Systems recharge, even plus. And 27.7. Capacity and almost 20 recharge for weapons. It's a nice upgrade, but not maximum you can have. And internals optional, obviously, by weave shields. I changed some prismatic because when you fight NPCs, you need to charge. And also, I did not lose that much. So this makes sense to have by weave shields on your combat ship. I even expect that prismatic shields will be used in future much less. Yep, this is my vulture. I've tried, you've seen. It's quite fun, much better than Eagle, but there are still ships to choose from if you can afford, like Ferdinand, Federal Assault Ship, Python, I would even say that Python might be my favorite for killing NPCs and collecting materials and resources. Fly safe, commanders.